Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a few of our databases that you can use to complete your financial statement analysis. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the course research guide I've created for this class. You can get to this by going to the library's homepage, which is library.uww.edu, going to the guides tab and clicking course guides. Then from here, we can just select Accounting on the left, and then Accounting 701. This guide contains a lot of suggestions that you can use for your assignment. I'm just going to show you a few of the resources that are available to you. It's a good idea to start by looking for an industry that you're interested in. So I'm going to go to the Industry Information tab. And a really great resource is called IBIS World. IBIS World gives nice overviews for every NAICS code industry, so you can get a lot of good information. It's a great starting point. One thing I do want to point out before we jump into IBIS World is the U.S. Census Bureau Economic Statistics. This is a great way to find information on the current economy and how your industry functions within the economy. So I would also recommend you take a look at that. But for now, I'm going to click this first link for IBIS World. And there are two ways you can look for an industry within IBIS World. The first is to do a general keyword search just by typing in something that you're interested in. So if you are interested in coffee shops, just type in the word coffee. Another option is to click the U.S. Industry Reports link. And you can either browse reports by a specific sector or you can scroll down and look at every single report that IBIS World has. I know that I'm interested in retail trade, so I'm going to select that. You can see these are all of the reports they have on the retail trade sector. So I'm going to limit my search just to department stores. This report is going to give me, like I said, a general overview of a specific industry. So I can see things like the supply chain, up at the top, I've got this industry at a glance. I can get some, some revenue for the whole industry, approximately how many major businesses are in this industry. One tab that's going to be really beneficial for you is this Major Companies tab. So this is going to give you the key businesses in the industry based on market share. So this might be a good way to identify which companies you're interested in researching for your financial statement analysis. It is important that when you're choosing a few of these that you select similar companies. So for example, Walmart isn't really the same as JCPenney. They focus on different things. Walmart sells clothing and groceries and a whole variety of items, whereas JCPenney and Macy's really just sell clothes for the most part, clothes and shoes. And so make sure you are comparing like companies. After you've taken a look at the industry outlook and the operating conditions and things like that, you can go back to the course guide and click the company information tab. From here, I recommend that you go to the database value line. Value line offers one page summaries for public companies that discuss their financial status in the present and also give projections for the future. And so what you can do is take a few of your companies. I've decided I'm just going to focus on clothing retailers like JCPenney and Macy's. And you can type either the company name or their ticker symbol up in the search box at the top. So if I type in Macy's, you can see it auto fills for me. And it's going to pull up the report for Macy's. So I get things like their financial strength grade rating, a little bit of commentary about the company, some financial information and projections, sales, earnings, dividends, a lot of different information that can give me some really good background as to how this company is performing. 
And so you could do this for several of the companies you're looking at and decide whether or not it's a good one for you to research. After you have done that, you can go back to your course guide and click the second link on the company information tab, which is for LexisNexis Academic. This will allow you to get even more information on a specific company. What you'll want to do is go to the bottom right corner in the Get Company Info box and just type the name of the company in the box there or use the ticker symbol search. Then choose whichever option best matches your company. For me, this is the first one. And on this page, I'm going to get some general information like stock quotes, financials. You can see that it has taken me to the department store SIC and NAICS code, which is good. I know that I am looking at the industry that I was originally intending to. Over on the left side of the page, I can find even more financial statements. So if I need to do get more in-depth numbers, this is a great place to look. And you can get five years of data for in a lot of cases. There are also going to be some analyst reports and occasionally Zach's investment research reports. And those can be really helpful to look at the, the future of a company. One thing that is highly recommended that you check out is this in the news section. Particularly if you go to the topic area and choose business activity, you can get some really good information about the current state of this company. Do they have stores closing? Are they opening new stores? Are they expanding their product line? Different things like that. So this is a great way to get some information about how this, this company is functioning in the present and what the outlook is for the future. And it can help you infer how this company is functioning within the current economy. So those are the, some of the resources you can try for your financial statement analysis. All of these resources are linked from your course research guide, which you can find from the library's homepage or by going to this URL, libguides.uww.edu backslash accounting 701. If you do have questions about this, about any of the resources I've shown today, please feel free to get in touch with me. My contact information is on the right side of the home page and I'm happy to help in any way I can.